today I want to show you how I do electron microscopy, um, basically how I use the instrument itself. Um, first, you, t you take your um, stained grits and it has a copper shiny side and a black um, a carbon side. So you want to place it on um, the, this probe um, with the shiny copper side facing up and the uh, carbon side facing down and then you want to use this uh, small tool to bring this um, down so you secure it in place and the important thing is to never never touch the tip of the probe um, so this is a big no-no this is why it has this specific holder and you should always hold it from the end and never touch especially the golden um, region and then it has this little notch in the bottom you want to um, stick it inside the microscope with the notch aligned with the little um, mark that you saw over there um, and then you just place it there and push it in as hard as you can so it clicks a little bit and then um, you're gonna wait until the pump um, finishes and then you're gonna select single tilt um, as the holder and then after that you basically rotate it um, counterclockwise as you can see here and then it just automatically will um, suck the sample in and then just make sure this red light is off and um, <clears throat> there are no gaps there and it's completely sucked and in. finally you can select the valves to the valve button to isolate your sample and when you see this ready it means that it's ready and then I just um, the next thing you have to do is to insert the camera and make sure you hear um, the sound that it inserts the camera and then once that's done you can start view and then um, you're gonna see your um, grids so now I'm kind of zoomed out and then um, it's good to start when you're zoomed out um, because then you can see which grids are in good condition um, which ones are broken which ones are just um, good and which ones are bad and then you choose a nice grid and then what you want to do is use the magnification knob to um, zoom in and out so for my samples they're very very small and I need to zoom in a lot once you um, zoom in then you want to use the focus knob because um, it's very likely that you're gonna have um, a blurry image so you want to sharpen it a little bit um, you can also use the uh, knobs on the other side to adjust the intensity um, and the position of the beam then um, to do the focusing correctly I use the wobbler and once you um, push the wobbler button your um, image is gonna look like this it's gonna be like two and then you have to uh, turn the focus knob until they, they become one and once that's um, done you can um, select the wobbler again to turn it off and then you will have a nice um, focused image then um, you want to make sure that your files are in your folder and going to be saved in the proper folder and choose this, um, an appropriate specimen name. So these are basically just um, easy things to do and then, then you can start the interesting part um, where you search for good, um, good positions to take images and um, just focus on taking beautiful images. Um, and having the right focus and the focus might change a little bit um, depending on the magnification you have and um, where in the uh, grid
grid you are um, so you must be, so you might have to adjust that a little bit then to take an image you stop the view you start um, acquiring an image um, and then you wait for it to acquire and then you see if it's a good image then you can um, select the save numbered um, button here and then it's gonna get saved in the proper folder and you can use it afterward and this is how I save it as you can see so um, that's basically it for the imaging part and then to um, take out your specimen and um, stop everything you have to basically do the same things in reverse you stop the view um, you uh, um, you kind of remove the camera from there and you um, select the column valves again and then you have to take it straight out um, as further back as possible until you can't take it out anymore and then you twist it um, clockwise and then after you twist it clockwise um, you're gonna reach a point where it stops and then you have to um, continue taking it out towards you but make sure when you're doing that you do it so that you will not uh, touch the tip of the probe and you will not break it. it it has to be done very carefully and in a gentle way so that's um, the tricky part I would say and then you just to remove your um, grids you um, use the little pin to uh, move the holder up and you just flip it and your um, your grid will fall down and then you can pick it up carefully with a tweezer and place it back in your specimen holder and yeah thank you so much for watching um, this is basically how you use the electron microscope and i hope it was helpful and see you soon